we will go, hunting we will go. I own the mill, we go, hunting we will go. So I'm, where am I at? Somewhere in Indiana, heading for Ohio. Probably about an hour before I hit the Ohio border, and then start heading toward Toledo, and then from there on toward Cleveland. That's the plan at the moment. So now I am in Streetsboro, Ohio, where I'm gonna call it a night here at the hotel. But before we do that, I am going to go scope out Wally World because we can. All right. Let's see if we get lucky here. Optic Mega left behind, some Flux, maybe a Holiday. And we had football earlier. turn around and see all the supplies. But look at this, no top supplies this week at all now between two different locations. So what is going on? Well, there was a little bit of a shock. They actually had cards and they had an optic basketball mega box. And I left it. Guess that tells us the state of where we're at with overpriced boxes of Mega. Um, really interesting, actually. And we saw the Hoops uh, Holiday Edition, or the Hostility Edition. Too overpriced. I think, was it $30 some dollars, $35 a box or something? It's like, no, I don't think so. Um, and if you're going to play off Mega Box, you know, that has 80 cards in it, but maybe an autograph if you're lucky. And, uh, or that it's not damaged, as we've heard stories about that with that product. So there were some cards, but it was what we did not see that is really the story here. No tops Series 1. So we saw a store that just literally, we watched her finish restocking it, and there was no Series 1. And no Series 1 here as well. So did Walmart not have product from Tops to put out this week? Makes you wonder a little bit with the uh, the Wander craziness going on. What's happening with that product? So now I'm just going to be on a hunt to see if I can find it out there. To see if I can find it. Crazy stuff. So that's going to pretty much wrap up tonight. I'm going to get to the hotel, which is down the street. Park it call tonight, get up in the morning, and start heading to Jersey, but I'm going to stop via Pittsburgh, it looks like, so stay tuned for that story on card hunting in the wild. Well, it looks like I found a Walmart. A bunch of stuff, actually. So, say we scope it out and see what's happening here. Now it's a Saturday so it could be pretty ugly which is kind of what I'm thinking. But you know 
the old saying, you don't know if you don't try, so let's give it a quick look, shall we? First time I've seen hangers of that in quite a while. So right now I am on I-99 heading from, looks like I'm entering the Altoona area, and I'm heading up to Interstate 80 to cross, uh, to get across and head east to New Jersey. But I just saw that there is a Barnes and Noble up here. So I figured, let's go take a quick look and see if there happens to be anything in stock. Only because we can. Let's see. Well, that was a nice surprise. We walked in and he actually had quite a bit of product. He also had been wiped out of quite a bit of product. Um, but they had chrome boxes for uh, tops, update. I just uh, stayed aside on that one for the moment. And I decided to suck it up and get a blaster box for top series one, just so I had one. Uh, because like with your card, you know, it's like a dollar dollar off so actually it's like 19 bucks with tax and everything so I figured hey why not I'll grab one of those but that'll probably be the only blaster I buy since there's not again value wise you're getting a lot more cards when you buy two hangers versus a blaster if you can get the hangers for um, 10 bucks so that is the scoop so I got two bucks off so $18 plus tax you know I'll, that that will be okay, so I don't mind buying a blaster for that price. Interesting. I stopped at Walmart here to pick up a couple things that I needed for the hotel room. And I stumbled upon cards being have been stocked pretty recently. And surprise, surprise, what did we find? Tops opening day 2022. They had a couple blasters of their regular uh, top series one. And they had assorted some other goodies as well. So that was pretty uh, interesting to stumble upon. The problem is the cards are in an aisle where they have someone checking out. So it's really brutal trying to get in there and try to 
get any footage of what there was and just see what they had. I had to wait in line to see if I could even see what what they had put in stock that was kind of a disarray, but a lot of playoff football. Uh, I didn't see any mega boxes. There were just hangers and blasters, or uh, hangers and packs, I should say. There were blasters of the 22 opening day. I grabbed a couple of those. Um, they had the top series one blasters. As I said, I'm hanging out for more hangers rather than blasters on those. And those car lights are like really bright, tone them down. Um, and they had some other assorted goodies there, nothing that I really didn't really have, but kind of caught off guard. Sometimes it happens, so you never know. Keep your eyes open out there. The hunt continues, even when we are trying.